Hello everyone. Welcome to Russell's classroom. Today we are solve a nice algebraic problem. This question is x plus 3 times x plus 5 times x plus 7 times x plus 9 is equal to 9. x is equal to what? How to solve this interesting math problem? Solution. Our question it will be x plus 3 times x plus 5 times x plus 7 times x plus 9 is equal to 9. This is our question. <clears throat> now, at this moment, you can see really here x plus 3 times, and I take this below here, x plus 9 times, and here x plus 5 times this is x plus 7 is equal to 9 because of that you can see here is 3 plus 9 it will be 12 5 plus 7 it is also 12 so here x times x it will be x square plus x times 9 it will be 9x plus 3 times x it will be 3x 3 times 9 it will be 27 times and here x plus x it will be x square plus 7 times x it will be 7x 5 times x it will be 5x and here 5 times 7 it will be 35 is equal to 9 now you can see really here x square plus and we know that 9x plus 3x it will be 12x plus 27 times and here x square plus 12x and here is 35 and is equal to 9 now at this moment you can just see here x square plus 12x plus 27 times and here x square plus 12x plus 27 I take here is 27 so this is 27 so both are same but here is 35 so we are need here is 8 it is equal to 9 because of that 27 plus 8 it will be 35 now you can see really here is this value and this value is same like this value and this value both are same so at this moment let x square plus 12x plus 27 it will be u so we are let this is equal to u so you can see really this value it will be u times this value it will be u and here is positive 8 is equal to 9 now you can see really here u times u it will be u square plus 8 times u it will be 8u and here is 9 now this quadratic equation it will be u square plus 8u and if I move on this positive 9 in this side it will be negative 9 is equal to 0. So we are find out here is a nice quadratic equation. So at this moment we are find out here is middle factor here is 9. So 9 times 1 it will be 9, 9 minus 1 it will be 8. So I can easily here u square plus 9u and here is negative u minus 9 is equal to 0. Now you can say here u is common. So if I take here is u is common. So u square divide u it will be u. 9u divide u it will be 9. Then here is negative sign 1 is common. So it will be u plus 9 is equal to 0. Now here u plus 9 is common. So if I take here is this is common. This divide this it will be u this divide this it will be negative 1 is equal to 0 then we'll find out here is two case our first case is equal to u plus 9 is equal to 0 and other case u minus 1 is equal to 0 now you can say here u remember that u it will be x square plus 12 x plus 27 here so i put this below it will be x square plus 12x plus 27 
plus 9 is equal to 0. It is also same case here is x square plus 12x plus 27 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now here x square plus 12x plus 36 is equal to 0. Then you can say here is x, this is x square, okay, and this is 2 times x times 6 plus 6 square is equal to 0. Uh, we'll find out here is a nice property, it will be a square plus 2ab plus b square. Both are same, so it will be a plus b whole square. Here is x plus 6 whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Then if I use both sides square root, here is 0, it will be 0, okay. Then square root is cancel, we'll find out x plus 6 is equal to 0 then here is x is equal to negative 6 this is our final answer this is our first case and other case we will find out here is x squared plus 12x plus 26 is equal to 0 now at this moment here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 12 and c is equal to 26 so here is x is equal to what? So you can say here is x, it will be minus b plus minus square root v square minus 4ac over 2a. Then here x, it will be minus b, b is 12, it's okay, plus minus square root here is 12 squared minus 4 is 4 is a is 1 c is 26 over 2 a 2 times 1 it will be 2 now here minus 12 plus minus it will be negative 12 plus minus square root 144 minus 104 4 times 26 it will be 104 2 times 1 it will be 2 then here x minus 12 plus minus square root 40 over 2 it is minus 12 plus minus and it will be square root 4 times 10 over 2 now here x it will be minus 12 plus minus and we know that square root 4 it will be 2 then here is square root 10 over 2 now at this moment if i separate this fraction 12 over 2 plus minus 2 square root 10 over 2 then you can say here is x it will be 12 divided 2 it will be minus 6 plus minus square root 10 so we are find out other two solutions so we are find out first of all x is equal to negative 6 or x is equal to minus 6 plus minus square root 10 this is the value of x in this maths Olympiad question. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting videos. Goodbye. Take care.